Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a long time since my last vlog and that was my haircut vlog three weeks ago and well another sorry um, as much as I want to dress up, it's really really hot in the Philippines right now so I'm just wearing a shirt and I'm just at home and okay I'm here because um, my post, my Korean itinerary post on Facebook blew up again last week. Yeah, happy 2,000 subscribers on YouTube and ha happy 25,000 followers on my Facebook page. I am the girl who travels. Well, I'm not an Instagram person, so my Instagram only has like 650 followers, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so. Since the post blew up, I received lots of questions and messages of sana all or of how to be you po and people who are very curious about so solo traveling and I'm here to do a real talk like what is solo traveling in reality and just to share some of my experiences with it. Okay, but before we go there, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, well, let's go. What made me inspired to do this real talk segment or video on my YouTube channel is actually this. This huge box that Charlie sent me. Okay, so it says be fearless, be a voice, be a woman of your choice. National Women's Month. So yeah, March is actually Women's Month. And there is like a letter message inside. And if I'm gonna read it, it says, Join us in emboldening women to keep challenging the status quo at Real Talk with Charmy by sharing your own experience in overcoming difficulties as we celebrate Women's Month. And please accept this small token of Charmy menstrual pants from us at Charmy as a reminder for you to keep being bold, unstoppable, and be the ripple who will someday help change the world. Thank you for being an inspiration and an empowering force to your female followers. So thank you so much, Charmy, for sending me this box. So it actually has, okay, this is how it looks inside. It has four big packages of menstrual pants. Looks like this. Haven't really tried it, but it's full protection during heavy period, and I am that person who has very heavy period. I think it's also perfect for mommies who just gave birth. Okay, but anyway, thank you again, charming show. That's why I'm going to share with you the reality, the struggles, and real talk of solo traveling. So solo traveling, not all of my travels are solo travels. Um, I just solo traveled to Cebu, Leyte, Coron, and internationally, I went to South Korea twice alone and Singapore though I met my friends there and Thailand although I met a friend there as well okay it's actually true I recommend everyone to try solo traveling even once in their lives so I actually made a video before I'm just gonna link here on why I started solo traveling okay so what are the struggles what are the problems of traveling alone number one dahil wala ang kasama because you are alone, no one's going to look after your stuff, your luggage, or your things if you're going to the CR, the comfort room, the toilet, or if you're just simply gonna order at the counter of a coffee shop or of a restaurant. So one experience I had was that um, I just arrived in Korea and I was so thirsty. The flight was almost four hours and I had to line up at... I had to line up at the immigration for an hour, I think, and I cried a lot during the flight because it's my first time going to Korea and I couldn't believe it myself and I was alone. So I really wanted a drink. So when I arrived in Korea, there's a convenience store called See You Mart and there's a huge sign that says you cannot enter with your luggage so you have to leave your luggage outside the store so being a filipino myself i'm not confident that my my 
luggage will be safe outside the store. Well, I know Koreans will never, like Koreans will not think of stealing my stuff, but that's the airport. There's a lot of people, not just Koreans at the airport. So I contemplated for 30 minutes or one hour, like I was really, really thirsty and I observed people, how do they leave their luggage outside the store before I went in and got my drink very, very quickly. Number two, I received a lot of questions I'm gonna put here. Pano ka nagpipicture? Sino nagpipicture sa'yo? Who's taking your photos if you're traveling alone? So this is really difficult. My first day in Korea, I went to Soraksan. It's a very beautiful mountain in autumn, but I had no decent photo in that place. I only had like this, like selfie. And I couldn't even show the beautiful background because they're all strangers. I was still shy to ask them to take my photo because it's even raining so people are holding their umbrellas and their bags and I couldn't tell them to please take my photo. So what I did instead was just like to take videos. That's the only thing I can take videos of the scenery but not with myself. Um, but in other places, yeah, I was still able to get some photos. My second, third, fourth, fifth day, I became more comfortable in asking people to take my photo. So I asked the waiter at the coffee shop to take my photo. I asked the staff at Line Friends to take my photo. In Nami Island, I actually met another solo traveler and we like teamed up together so she can take my photos and I can take her photos too. Um, but now I kind of learned how to do it alone so I just leave my camera somewhere on top of a something and I push the record button so it's taking a video and I just strike a pose there so I'll just um, screenshot I use screenshots to take my photos out of the video it's sad that you can't take the best photos and when a stranger is taking photos of you you cannot actually tell them take another one take three more oh it's not good the lighting is bad i'm gonna change my pose it will be so awkward so you just work with what they got um i remember when i went to coex mall the big library coex starfield library i asked a korean student to take my photo but his hand was shaking and the picture was very blurred, so I had to ask another tourist to take my photo. Okay, so that's just number two of the struggles of traveling alone. Number three, you have no one to share about how excited you are or how you feel about going to places that are so beautiful. Like, oh, OMG, ang ganda, ganda, ang ganda, ganda. So I had that video on Sorak San, Sorak Mountain. I was like, oh my gosh, ang ganda, ganda, ang ganda, ganda. Like that. It just tear up alone. You just become giddy alone when i went to the bts restaurant i was so excited and i was just keeping it to myself because i can't tell people how happy i am to be there okay and number four if you're gonna be sick if you're gonna feel bad if you're gonna have stomach ache no one's going to take care of you so instead of focusing on the fun activities like being drunk at the bar in korea or doing adventurous stuff i focused on um safe activities because um no one's gonna take care of myself but myself and of course my parents my mom would be angry to hear that i got sick somewhere far so yeah you should be always careful and take care of yourself yeah so another struggle was that time that i ran out of cash the first time I went to Korea, I ran out of cash on my second or third day because I went all out on shopping at um, Line Friends, the BT21 stuff. And I thought it'll be easy to just get money from my ATM, but apparently some banks will just um, block your card if you suddenly keep on withdrawing money from another side of the world. So you really have to notify your bank that it's you. It was actually you who's taking the money out of your bank. So it was like SOS and I had to call my sister. Do you have money there? Please send me some money because I ran out of cash. Like that. So 
and um, this one was very memorable it's my second time in Korea and I was about to go home that day so I'm that kind of person who spent all the Korean one I have because it's my last day what am I gonna do with my last money uh, I'm going back home soon so I knew I didn't have to I didn't have to keep money because I'm going home and when I went to the check-in counter apparently um, the luggage the 20 kilo baggage I booked online didn't go through like the payment didn't go through and they wouldn't let me on the plane even if my flight is already paid it's just the baggage that wasn't paid so they want me to settle that first and my cards stopped working just like what I've told you when your activities are suddenly changed like you don't usually use your cards in the Philippines that much and then when you went to um, another part of the country you spent like three or four times a day every day they block your card like that so I had to call a friend please can you settle this like I couldn't get on the plane and I only had 20 minutes after that the plane will fly to the Philippines without me and the flight tickets that time was so expensive because of it's a holy week so that was really expensive the next flight will be about 20,000 pesos like that so I said, oh my gosh, will I be able to go back to the Philippines? Okay, so but imagine if I had a friend with me or a family traveling with me, someone could actually lend me um, extra money. There's a lot of struggle, but um, I'll end with this one. My second time in Korea, I actually had my period and it just started on the day that I left and it was so uncomfortable i didn't know how to check if i have a stain so i kept on checking on the windows mirrors of stores i passed by and checked the reflection if i have a stain but yeah good thing i always have charmy so that worry didn't really happen okay well these are just some, just like what I've said, these are just some of the many struggles of traveling alone. But I still highly recommend for everyone to try traveling alone even once in their lives. Because you'll know if it's for you or if it's not for you. And it's something I'm really, really proud of doing in my life. Okay, so I think that's it for this vlog and if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below and yeah, subscribe to my channel.